Talks by Me. Uh, I, Andre Laszlo Jr., uh, have uh, written two books uh, on particular forms of knowledge. One of these is uh, Swedish art class. I think that Swedish art class between the wars was best in the world. I think that Orofors was the world's best glassworks. I think its designers, Simon Gata, Edvard Hold, uh, Edwin Erström, Wickel Lindstrand, and Sven Palmquist together made up the best designing team in the world during this time. I think the crystal melt was fantastic. I think that uh, the owner's policy was magnificent and it's very close to my heart. I like Swedish art class 1918 to 1945 very, very, very much. And if you want me to come and talk about it, I would be delighted to do so. Now, Swedish art class, Svensk Konstklas, that was the title of my book, that's what I like. And that's one of the two things I'm ready to talk about. The second thing I'm ready to talk about is uh, the drug problem. My position is that whether drugs in themselves are good or bad is not a very interesting question. The interesting question is that the consequences of illegalizing drugs are terrible. They are so terrible that it's quite possibly the worst, the most dysfunctional discourse that we have. And I am, the problem is that if I am, if you are pro illegalization, it's so easy to say drugs are bad, therefore they should be illegalized. And it sounds good, I admit that. But the world isn't that simple. The problem is that <laughs> illegalization's argument is so simple and sounds so good, but it is weak. However, the argument of legalization and the, the the, the arguments for a more liberal position on drugs are virtually always much harder to comprehend, to get one's head around. However, they are much, much stronger. And this is what I would be ready to come and talk about. Uh, the drug problem. 